Dawson Knox, I know a ton of people are down on Dawson Knox and his numbers last year, you know, just looking at stat sheets, it, it's hard to argue against in that fashion. But he did have a weird year last year. Um, only played in 13 games. He was dealing with the wrist injury that needed a surgery. Seems like he kind of came back from that a little bit earlier. Seems like the rehab from it was taking longer than expected. And he kind of, you know, rushed back because Kincaid was dealing with a concussion and wasn't going to be able to play. Um, But ends up in 13 games, uh, 22 catches on 36 targets, 186 yards and two touchdowns. Um, and yeah, especially for his price tag, having just got that contract, like these, these aren't impressive numbers. Um, I do think that a little bit of his drop issues showing up again last year that we kind of thought were put to bed. I think a lot of that does have to do with the wrist injury. Um, you know, you're not, this isn't a guy like casually playing catch in the yard. He's getting these heaters from Josh Allen thrown at him and, you know, your, your catching mechanism of your wrist and your hand, it it ain't feeling right, and you're catching these absolute piss missiles from Josh Allen 10 yards away. Um, for somebody that already didn't have the most sure hands, checks out for me. Um, I think the interesting thing is he still comes away with the two touchdowns on, you know, a third of the targets of Kincaid and ends up with the same amount of touchdowns. And I think this is the type of role that Dawson Knox is absolutely going to thrive in. Uh, I think he still brings a ton to the team in the passing game um, and even more so in the blocking. And then we've seen Josh Allen and Dawson Knox have really great chemistry in particular on, you know, like the broken plays, um, you know, deep in the red zone when they run like a triple option with, Knox leaking out and like we saw that sec we saw that success even more so before Kincaid was in the building which is you know what makes me lean into even more that last year was kind of like a weird year for him with the injuries and everything um but I fully expect you know when defenses start having to game plan for Kincaid and like that's your big threat on the team and, oh, yeah, we have to worry about a tight end, too. I think particularly in the red zone, Dawson Knox is really going to thrive, and I ex- I expect him to have maybe not, like, huge receptions and yards this season. Um, I expect him to kind of cherry-pick some touchdowns, that number to go up, you know, like the 5-8 to eight range. 